So if just the regular spicy wasn't bad enough, no, now we're free. gonna go numb. Hi guys, hey. welcome back to our channel. Another special video for you guys today. We are doing another one of our tasting different snacks from around the world series. And today what we're going to be trying is a whole bunch of Lay's chips. All of these products were sent to us from Desert Drinks and Exotics. They are your one-stop all access shop to international snacks and drinks. This Arizona based company has all of the brands we know and love, Doritos, Kit Kats, Cheetos, even Oreos from every corner of the world and it can all ship directly to your front door. They even have a monthly subscription service that'll send you a box of their most popular snacks each and every month. Now we have a lot of different varieties of Lay's here in the States and we have, you know, the usual kinds like classic sour cream and onion, barbecue. What's your favorite? I think barbecue, but we'll see. Maybe one of them today is going to be my favorite. I think no? so. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? These are from all around the world and yeah. I can't wait. China, Canada, Thailand, just to name a few. Yeah. Well, how we're going to do it this time is, and this is new to you, we are going to be rating these chips on a scale of 1 to 10 based upon how much we like them. So I'm really excited to just dig on in. And so without further ado, let's get started. This is our bag that we have of all the different products. Did you hear them in there? Whoever, did you watch Barney as a kid? I mean, everyone's watched Barney as a kid, but I'm a big purple and, dragon. No, he was a dinosaur. Dragon. And I remember he had a Barney bag. And I always think of Barney when I have a big giant bag full of stuff. So we have a Barney bag. So I'll let you pick out the first one. Me? Yes. All the way to the bottom. We got roasted cumin lamb skewer. That one is from China. Have I had? Yeah, yeah. Cumin's a very popular flavor, so. Yeah, it's used a lot in like Indian cuisine, I think. Okay. I can sort of smell a little lamb. Some okay. Spice. I can smell some cumin. I can... Looks pretty much like Lay's that we get here. Just. Cheers. Cheers. Ready? Mm hmm. Tastes like something. I say it reminded me of the Texas barbecue brisket one of the Pringles we tried, but the, the aftertaste is where it really differs. Yeah, it definitely is a kick. I feel a little bit of a spice after yeah, it. I like to me, it sort of tastes like dog food, but I... I... <laughs> You've had dog food? No, but I feel like the the aromas. Oh, the aromas. But we use lamb a lot in dog food, but yeah, I like it. All right, well, are you ready to rate that one? I am. All right, roasted lamb skewer, I'm gonna give it a seven. Wow, that's what I was gonna give it. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's the first one, so I may edit it later on. Like if all the other ones suck, I may make this one a 10. <laughs> or if they're all like really good, this may bump down to a four. It's all, all right. relative. Okay. You know, on a curve. Seven plus seven is 14. You pick the next one. Spicy Korean ramen. Interesting. It's from Thailand, but it's spicy Korean ramen. You got it. You can do it. You've been in the gym lately. You can do it. You're getting purple in the face. You're starting to match your shirt. You got it. Ugh. Oh, there you go. Jeez, that's hard. Oh my goodness. This is going to be spicy. Oh, nice. I don't like, I don't yeah. like too much spice. This looks very coated for reference. Cheers. And cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty mm. spicy. Mmm. It's spicy. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's bordering on like not enjoyable spice. That's too spicy. I can sort of detect the ramen, but the spice is just like all up front in your face. Like, hey, I'm the spice and I'm here. Are you gonna rate that one? Oh no, I need a minute. <laughs> I bet there are people that eat these on the regular that think they're not that spicy. Yeah, I am going to give that actually a four. It tasted fine. The chip tasted good, crisp, fresh, you know, flavorful. It just was way too spicy for me to even enjoy. I'm gonna give it a three because it's just not enjoyable when it's that spicy. Mm -hmm. Next up. Gotta shake it. It's magic masala. Ooh, I love masala flavored anything. Interestingly enough though, magic masala is from Canada. Oh, here in the States, we get a lot of different wacky flavors too. I have a good feeling about this. Mm. I like these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They remind me of paprika. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense. Two thumbs up and would go great with a dip. I can take taste the masala. 
I'm giving it a eight. Or six. Six? Yeah. Chase the masala, I just didn't, I don't know, I wasn't blown away by it. Okay, so 14. Oh, this is gonna be your favorite. Seafood cheese pizza. Chelsea loves seafood. I do not like seafood. I'm not looking forward to this. No, I gotta open it too? Okay, so maybe they're harder to open than I let out. You gotta take one. Oh yeah, we didn't do a smell test. Seafood cheese pizza. I feel like I taste more of the pizza than the seafood. Yeah, more cheese pizza than. Still don't like seafood, but I do like this. I'll give it a five. I'll give it a a five. Beer. Oh, y'all are excited for this because oh, yeah. beer is your favorite thing. So oh, you're my favorite thing. Oh, you're so sweet. This one is from China, um, and I saw that one and I was so excited for you. Specific. Oh yeah, it smells like beer. Smells like a Heineken. Oh, wow. That smells just like beer. It tastes like beer, too. That is so weird. I feel like I'm crunching on beer. Yeah, you're so chips. It's weird. I'm going to give that a three. I'm actually going to give that one a two. I'm two? not, yeah. So that, that a five? Yeah. In my opinion, Beer shouldn't be chips. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to eat beer. I want to drink it. Lots of it. Korean cream cheese garlic. This is from Thailand. Thailand, so, yeah. They're killing it today. Yeah. Thailand's really coming through. I'll give it to them with this packaging. Garlicky. I still have the taste of the beer in my mouth. Tastes like a baked potato, which makes sense. Isn't that a baked potato? Uh, I think that's, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe I rescind that. I like it. Like a garlic chip. Yeah, it just reminds me of like a garlic one that we would get here in the States. Mm -hmm. Pretty mild. I give it a solid six. That's what I was gonna say, actually, six. We're on the same wavelength. I know, our taste buds are pretty similar. Okay. Numb and spicy hot pot flavor. Numb, Numb and spicy. spicy. So. So if you... just the regular spicy wasn't bad enough, no, now we're gonna go numb. And it's only 11 a.m. This one's from China. <laughs> yeah, it smells like it's gonna be spicy. And numb. It's really not that bad. Not as bad as a spicy. It's a Korean one. What's that flavor? Yeah, I don't know. Hot pot. Maybe that's what it is? I don't know if we've ever had like hot pot before. Those who have had this before, let us know if this is something that tastes very similar to its name. It doesn't taste like anything that we get here. It's a unique flavor, I'll say that. Um, not a bad one. I think it's it's peppery, um, reminds me of like cumin, kind of reminds me of a masala, you know, sort of along those lines, I would say, of that sort of cuisine, those sorts of ingredients. Um, very aromatic, um, but not, not spicy and not numbing either, which I appreciate. I'm gonna give it a seven. I enjoyed this one. I'm gonna give it a um, five. Last but not least, mac and cheese. This one's from Thailand. As well. As well. I love mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is probably something we have. Once every couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea we, makes good mac and cheese. Thank you. Lo I love it, we eat it all the time. Um, and so I don't know if we have any mac and cheese flavored chips or anything like that here in the States. I'm sure we do. I mean, they're always coming out with new flavors and you know, but, Again, with the packaging of Thailand. <clears throat> but it's fresh. Mmm. I like it. Reminds me a lot of the cheese Pringles. Yes, but I can um, taste a creaminess almost to this. I'm glad you can do that. I taste the cheesy Pringles. Well, I'm give gonna this one like a four. Yeah, I'll give it about a seven. Wow, you like this one? Yeah. So our top two choices were the magic masala and the roasted cumin lamb skewer. So now it's down to these two. The final two. The final showdown. Two. Hey, this matches my shirt. Yeah, this does not match mine. No. But let's give it a try one more time and let's make a final decision. Just a cumin lamb skewer. Tastes like barbecue. I love barbecue. All right, and the magic masala. 
Do you have a vote? I'm sticking with this one. I'm also going to go with that. Whoa, mm -hmm. I'm sad. I thought you were going to stick with the magic masala. I think that this has more of a prominent flavor. I think I could see myself eating a whole bag of these. Whereas with the masala, they're really, really good. But I think I can only have maybe like, I don't know, five or six. And I would just, it would start to be a little too much. That this one is the winner. So, <laughs> A human lamb skewer from China. Da, 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 da. Right. Oh, that pretty much wraps up the video today. We actually have a few more videos coming your way. Just like this, we're going to be trying Doritos, more Lays, um, more Lays yeah. other different snacks, and everything like that. Once again, from all around the world. Thank you so much again, Desert Drinks and Exotics, and we'll leave a link down below to their website as well as coupon code to save you guys a little bit of money on your purchase. Remember to subscribe and like. Yes. And for now, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Joe. And thanks for joining us, guys. Bye. High five.